As growling acid may sound, this is what persons with kidney diseases have to endure at least twice every week. And with the current challenges experienced at most public dialysis centers, preferences may have changed for many. Kwame, not his real name, traveled all the way from Cape Coast to Accra for dialysis following the closure of the facility in his region. There has been a problem with quality of uh, service delivery. So the authority decided to close this down to solve that problem. Upon arrival, he opted for a private hospital. His reasons? Quality service delivery. I can't put my life at stake. So I prefer the private one to the, the government sector. Even if it keep, keep close, they have a private one, I will opt to the, the private one instead of intervening. Although the National Health Insurance Authority announced a subsidy for persons within his age gap, that directive is yet to be implemented. For Kwame, the delay is making things more difficult. It's very painful. Uh, once the government have authorized the, the institution to implement that uh, policy, they need to do it because uh, Charlie, the pressure is too much. The pressure is too much. How to, I, coming from Cape Coast to Accra to do this, I have to spend more than thousands. Uh, the facility is taking 660 TNT in and out. With our condition, we are always tired, and then you can't join the trotro. You opt to take Uber or private. So it's very expensive. Private hospitals are seeing an influx in patients since the issues surrounding the renal units of public hospitals came to light. Administrator for the Providence Specialist Hospital here in Accra, Frida Mensa, says that although the hospital charges 660 cities, more patients are trooping in for dialysis. Because our, our, our numbers have increased and it's reasonable. Since Kolebu increased this, it was an ideal thing for private sectors to also increase their prices. But as here, we, we didn't do that. We stick to our 660 cities. That's what we take. Clearly, persons with kidney diseases might require urgent steps by the NHIA to make treatment much easier. Judith Brown, TV3 News.